was going on here is different than what was really going on. Jesus was on a donkey, and he's not on a white horse. That was a prophecy, but still, a donkey? What are you doing? And very shortly, he was going to be hung on a cross between two thieves on the town garbage heap. They were going to spit on him, plait a crown of thorns, and push it down on his forehead until the blood tripped down on his body. That's what they were going to do. And yet they're proclaiming, proclaiming him as the king. And he was the king. And he still is. Do what you want. He's coming and cleaning it up. Say what you want. He's still the king and nobody elected him and nobody will ever dispose of him and you can celebrate that. I don't, I don't know what you're going through. I suspect some of you are going through some hard stuff. Uh, beginning to bring out the abuse that you suffered and it's killing you. Your friend stuck a knife in your back. Your kid announced that he was gay. Your, your parents are old and they're, and they're dying. You got a you got a diagnosis from the doctor and it scares the spit out of you. You wake up in the middle of the night and the demons come and they haunt. And it's hard. Listen to me. Cheer up. The king has come. The king is here. The king is coming. Sometimes the truth doesn't appear to be the truth, but it's still the truth. Some of you feel so guilty. You're forgiven, and I don't care how you feel about it. Yeah, that. You're forgiven. That's a fact. Because the king has come. You're loved. No matter how unlovable you are, you say, Steve, you don't even know. Yeah, I do. Doesn't matter. That's a fact. And he'll never let you go, even if everybody else has. That's a fact. And that's what Palm Sunday is all about. It's about the truth. It's about the facts. Celebrate. For God's sake, celebrate.